Hey everyone, it's Eugene, HoustonMotorizedBicycles.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can put a motor on a beach cruiser. We're going to put it on a Huffy beach cruiser. Today I'm going to use the, the Men's Deluxe beach cruiser. You can also put it on the Huffy Cranbrook and the Huffy Good Vibrations as well as Schwinn, a whole host of other bikes. The most important thing is that you got the geometry right where the motor bolts in on your, your seat tube and then your down tube in front. Otherwise, you may have to rig up a bracket or whatever. The kit that I got here, it'll bolt directly onto the Huffy with uh, no modifications. All right, let's check out what we got in the kit. Let's get rolling here, okay? Take a look. You got your gas tank here. Sometimes the, uh, the gas cap is a little stiff on the new ones. This one here looks pretty good. You've got your four mounting studs here. You don't want to get these too tight when you put it on the bike, so you want to be careful of that. Okay, here we got the motor. You got your rear mounting bracket. That's going to mount to the seat tube on your bike. You've got the front mounting bracket here. That's going to mount to the down tube. Uh, what's important is the geometry. The geometry between the rear bracket and the front one here. We're going to have to put an adapter on it to mount onto the, the Huffy bike here. You're going to have to remove these three screws here so you can get access to the sprocket there when you feed your chain on. Your clutch cable is going to go through this nut right here. It's going to come around here on the side, go through there. It's going to thread into the small hole here. you got a little stop nut. That actuates the clutch. You have your intake here where your carburetor is going to mount. Your exhaust port here where your muffler is going to mount. And then your spark plug which goes here on the top. Now the, the cylinder head, <coughs> you can take it off and turn it around if you want to because if your spark plug comes up from the front and it bumps into the frame, you might be able to mount it with the back. You want to be careful. You want to get it torqued down correctly here. I might recommend if you don't have any experience with small motors, you might not want to mess with the head. may want to get somebody who's had some experience on it because you don't want to over tighten the nuts on this here. Okay, we've got our throttle has the kill switch on it. You have two wires on your kill switch. It doesn't matter which one goes to which, but you have to mount both of them. When you press the, the kill switch here, that is going to uh, short both of the wires together and that will kill your motor. Your throttle cable will go into this outlet here. It screws in. You're going to have to drill a hole in your handlebars to mount the throttle assembly onto the handlebar. More on that later. And you've got a matching grip here. You're going to take your original bicycle grips off. Or if you want to, you can try to keep them. Uh, they're, they're a little tough to get off. Uh, you can use some hairspray and put some hairspray on your uh, on your throttle slide as well on your handlebar and that helps these grips go on and off. You don't want to get a lot on there, just enough to make it a little slippery. It'll slide on when the hairspray dries. Uh, it'll be nice and tight. We've got our clutch lever. Here is the throttle cable. The throttle cable will screw into the throttle housing. You've got your chain. This is the drive chain. This is going to go on the opposite side of the bike from the, uh, the pedal chain. You have a master link on it. You're probably going to have to cut the chain to fit, cut it to size. We'll get to that later. Here is the carburetor. With these kits, you'll get two different types of carburetors. This carburetor here, you've got your choke lever here on the side. You lift it up, that brings the slide over the intake and forces the carburetor to suck more gas in. So when you start it, you'll lift the choke up, get it running a little bit here, and then immediately bring it down and go ahead and, and, uh, and cruise on down the road. This is your mount, which will mount onto the intake port. This here is where your throttle cable will go into, and there's your idle adjustment, and then you've got a primer bulb here. There's another style carburetor that has a second cable that comes out where your, your choke lever is on your handlebar. Here we've got the clutch, the clutch cable. You've got two springs on it, and then you've got 
the stop nut, which you'll, you'll loosen this up, you'll feed it through the arm and you'll tighten it. We'll get to that later. Here we've got the, the CDI, the ignition, which gives spark to the spark plug. On some of these units, they put some glue in here where this cable goes into the CDI. If they don't, it's basically just a, like a wood screw that goes in there that screws into it here. This here has a glue on it, so I can't tighten it up anymore. If it doesn't have the glue, you want to make sure and tighten it. On your spark plug cap, make sure it's good and tight. You, you can grab the cable, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, give it a turn or so to make sure it's, it's, it's good in there. You've got your mounting bracket, which goes on the opposite side of the bike frame. You've got your screws. And if you're lucky, they gave you two nuts. Nope, we only got one nut. So uh, we may have to dig through the hardware pile or go to the hardware store. Here is the bracket that is going to bolt to the frame and go to the motor. You're going to mount your motor here. This is going to wrap around the tube because typically the down tube on the bike is too big for the mounting bracket on the motor. If it fits, great. If it doesn't, you're going to have to use the accessory mounting bracket here. We will get to that. This here is a stabilizer for your muffler. This clamps around the muffler. The other end clamps on the bike, keeps the muffler from vibrating too much here. You may or may not want to use it. Quite often, I just pitch it. And then you got a bag of assorted hardware here hardware and parts. This is a uh, key component, the rag joint, which we're going to use to mount the sprocket onto the rear wheel of the bike. The muffler. The idler arm to keep tension on the chain. This will simply, you unbolt it, it clamps to the chain stay, and then this here rides against the chain. Then we have the chain guard, which typically I don't use because I like danger, right? And looks like the plastic, uh, we still got a film on it. We may have to uh, sand it off. But like I said, I don't use it. I'm not going to use it on this build. Uh, if uh, you, you wear pants when you're riding a bike, you may want it. You don't want your uh, pants getting wrapped up in the chain. I haven't had any problems yet, but uh, you might want to might want to use it. And one thing I almost threw away, this is the 44 tooth sprocket, which we're going to mount onto the rear wheel. Looks like we got all of our components together. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the bike. I've got a brand new bike, a Huffy men's cruiser, a deluxe men's cruiser, that I'm going to put it on. Like I said, these kits here, they go very well on a Huffy Cranbrook, Huffy Good Vibrations, or the Huffy Deluxe Men's Cruiser. Uh, not that I'm a spokesman for Huffy or whatever, but for a good low cost build, you can't beat the Huffies, you can't beat them for the price and the quality. They're reasonable quality. You've got heavy duty spokes on the wheels. When you're gonna be mounting your sprocket to the wheel, that's important. Those skinny spokes, you're gonna be putting all that torque on the spokes and you may have some problems. But let's take a look at our bike. 